in slow motion. Hello, Buzzercuts! My name is Hotsasty, and welcome to another day in Minecraft where we are still not mining any natural blocks. But with the progress we made over the last few weeks with all these farms around me, we finally have all the material together to build the wood farm. And this should be a big thing. So we will do this similar like uh, I did with the uh, bone meal farm. We do it in steps. Uh, we come back and I will explain everything. So let's this first piece get into place. The very basic part is now done. Uh, here on this side we have some chests for the bone meal that feed in here and eventually get transported upwards uh, in here and that's basically where we will place the sapling it will get bone milled it will grow and then it will be pushed out from uh, that side towards here and the way uh, we turn this whole thing on and off is by interacting with this barrel and you can see uh, everything goes crazy and then we can turn things off. Of course there are more things that will be hooked up to, uh, to this line so maybe the most interesting for now is um, if we have a block here usually a wood stem block and we power this dispenser we get a signal out here um, which means uh, powering this block and then we can get the signal out there uh, which means uh, powering the system uh, once we detected uh, tree growth and that's important because uh, of course we want to uh, once we have detected the tree growth we want to push it out and that's basically the next step uh, putting in place all the mechanics to uh, crush the leaves and push the locks out the next step is now also done and you can see here on the side we have a zebra like uh, pattern with honeycomb uh, or honey blocks and slime blocks uh, alternating and uh, the way this will work is one layer uh, can be pushed in it's almost at the push limit um, uh, one short and as uh, honey and slime do not stick together we can basically move the whole wall with a set up uh, like this and here on the back side we have the first piston extender down there which is powered here from the side and this pushes basically this wall of uh, sticky pistons out right and then uh, when the wall come in from the side the uh, redstone down there is powered and this one will be pushed in twice so then also the redstone block is right beside the piston powering uh, that one and the two sides are not uh, really 
at the same time but shortly after another so the first one that comes short pulses uh, pushes this block forward uh, over the dirt block leaves it there and the second short pulse uh, will then retract it I think we will see this working at the end of this video and here on the side uh, we have uh, the one row of uh, sticky pistons right down here in the middle which is powered directly through a redstone line and then we will need uh, another redstone block here on the side of the sticky pistons that stick out however placing them as it is will actually trigger that piston and break the whole system so what we want to achieve is basically but power this piston so it is powered but the piston does not know it yet and when we power this piston everything that sticks to this row will get pushed forward including this piston including the redstone block that goes there and that will make this piston realize oh, I'm powered I will also extend and that way we have a double piston extender and the way to uh, do this is basically uh, we will fall down here and we will have uh, another row of blocks here and this means we have reached the push limit of the piston and can place the block there need to do this all the way down there on this side on this side and then of course over there as well and then we can proceed with the next step in slow motion This tree farm is only capable of handling trees that grow straight up, so no acacia trees and uh, the oak trees can grow into large oak trees, so we have to prevent that. And this is exactly what this contraption up there is for. We can prevent large oak trees uh, by limiting the uh, height they can grow so if we uh, push that block up there one down with this here uh, we can actually grow normal oak trees uh, and if we want to grow any other trees like uh, jungle birch or spruce we can just push this one up to get a bit uh, more height for them to grow but of course uh, now we have a contraption that can uh, grow trees and then here on the side uh, this might not be obvious this will break all the leaves and this here will push everything out but we still not can break the locks so that's uh, what we have this uh, uh, square out here for uh, where we actually will have another TNT uh, blast thingy um, we gain quite experienced uh, with uh, digging the hole there so fingers crossed that this works out the mechanism to use TNT to break the blocks is now also in place 
and the way this works is from down there we use scaffolding to bring a signal up when we turn on the machine or if we turn off the machine then this signal is snaked through here and actually then will uh, turn on this machine uh, we will push this over the pushing triggers uh, or powers the slime block once and then we have a signal going round and round and every time it comes that way uh, we duplicate t and t once and down there um, let's actually go down here uh, so you can see battle there we have a mechanism uh, the first layer is for aligning the TNT and then we have two fence gates holding it back and uh, every time we power uh, or duplicate the TNT we also power this block have a bit of delay which opens the first gate and then we have a mechanism uh, for the second gate that has a bit more delay and as you can see here there are two different options that are alternatingly powered so this means we have a slightly different delay on each of uh, those drops so one time the TNT explodes a bit further up one time a bit further down and thereby we get all the locks that are pushed out from over there so now let's actually see this farm in action and there you have it this farm works like a charm and on the first try no less so with that we have iron we have stone and we have wood so the last corner piece of any good uh, civilization is uh, however you want to look at it either villagers or emeralds and we will get to that in uh, due time uh, but now we have a solid foundation uh, to make some real progress so i hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time when we tackle new things without breaking any generated blocks goodbye